Good evening, good evening, good evening to everyone. Welcome, welcome aboard. Lakeisha McKnight is here. I'm your leadership specialist and your wealth mentor here with the Leadership TKO Live Night Show, specifically via podcast. Again, specifically via podcast on tonight. And so I want to welcome everybody aboard. I know you're probably going to be getting yourself situated Uh, Depending on where you are and whether you're able to plug into this podcast episode tonight, it's going to be a powerful one with some good content, okay? I'm going to definitely share with you some basic things, but then some things that you may want to take a closer look at, okay? Just a closer look. And so I know it is a Saturday evening here on the East Coast uh, as we're here live in Chesapeake, Virginia. And so what I'm going to do before I dive into specifics tonight, I know Facebook is letting many of you know that I am live presently. I'm going to conduct and start a watch party in a group on Facebook. So let me go ahead. I'm going to get this thing going. So let me go ahead and get it going. Also, at the same time, you may want to start your own watch parties as well, just to share and educate and inform your network. So feel free uh, to get that in order as well. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a special message. Wealth Building 101. Okay, and then we're going to check the audio just to make sure that the audio is good in this specific group that I'm doing the watch party in. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this going. All right, perfect. Sounds like the audio is pretty good. Good evening. I'm going to greet these ladies here. Good evening, ladies. All right, so welcome aboard, everyone. Lakeisha McKnight is here for those who are just joining in uh, to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. Now, this show was created to really help leaders, empower leaders with the ability to win from the inside out, growing, number one, your influence, number two, your impact, and number three, your income. So we want to help you to grow your influence, impact, and income. And so tonight we do have a very special topic that we're going to cover. We're talking about wealth building. We're talking about wealth building. So we've entitled this Wealth Building 101. So the big question I have for everybody that's listening in on tonight, good evening, Latanya. Good evening. I do see a few of you here. Feel free, you know, before we dive in, feel free to love, like, uh, definitely love the episode here, the stream. You can comment, you can ask questions in the comment section and share this out. Do your own watch parties if you like, so that your networks, those connected to you can be informed, well-educated about the information that I will share tonight. So again, let's talk about wealth, shall we? Let's talk about it. Some basic things, right? Some basic things we're going to start off with. So for example, What is wealth building? And I want you to think about this because in order for you to have wealth building on your plan for 2020, it's important for you to understand what is wealth building. Okay. What is exactly wealth building? And so wealth building is the process of generating long-term income. Okay. The process of generating long-term income through multiple sources, multiple sources. So we're not just talking about one source of income. We're talking about multiple sources. So this refers to more than job-based income because that's earned income. That's income that you generate when you exchange hours of your life that you cannot get back. When you exchange that time, right, for dollars, and normally, normally there's a little bit of a limitation there because you can't control the amount of time that you have. So you're exchanging hours for dollars. That's job-based income. Okay, so it's more. We're talking about more than just job-based income. We're talking about income that may include savings. It may include investments or any other income-generating assets. Income generating assets. So we're going to take a closer look at this. Okay. Now, when you think about the word investments, understand when you think of investments, of course, you need to consider that with investments, there also comes risks. Okay. The possibility of loss. Okay. The possibility of loss. So you have to be open to that. Investments is when you're putting a certain amount of of income into something, expecting for there to be a return. Okay. Expecting for there to be a return, but also knowing that it comes with a risk at the same time. 
the potential for growth, but also there is a chance, a certain amount of chance for loss at the same time. But then I also want us to take a look at um, income generating assets. And many, and there are many income generating assets out there. Now I'm just going to name them. All right. Of course, some people have their own opinion as to whether, you know, there are some that they prefer than others. And there are some that have their challenges, or I should say the higher risk of loss, especially during this time, this economic climate that we're in today, because the economic climate is impacted by the government. It's impacted by uh, things that are going on with politics, especially with the potential of war and attacking other countries. And so when you have all of these things going on, it's going to impact the economy, period, the global economy, and therefore impact, you know, whether you should make certain decisions for investments or not. Okay. So I'm just going to name a few. And now again, you may have your own biases or your own opinions about which options will be better for you, but I encourage you to do your research, do your homework. I am going to make a recommendation based on what I see on the rise in the news today as the best, best income generating and even saving option that is out there today. Okay. So I'm going to share a couple in mind. Of course, a lot of you know about these traditional options. Again, these traditional options, some of them are connected to the traditional banking system. And if you do your homework to find out about the banking system, again, these are paper assets. And these paper assets are connected to the dollar. And the dollar at this particular time is weakening. Okay, it is weakening because of what's going on with politics and, of course, the potential rumors and, of course, what we're seeing, the actions being taken by our political leaders. And so keep this in mind, all right? So here's one of them, certificate of deposits, or I should say CDs, okay, CDs, all right? They're like savings accounts, except your bank won't allow you to access your money for a certain amount of time without incurring a penalty, So, you know, banks, you know, like CDs because they get to keep and use your money for a longer amount of time without having to hold your cash on hand in case you get a wild air to really buy the latest infomercial special. So like CDs, for example, you know, you like CDs because they they might pay higher interest rates than cash in a traditional uh, savings account. Okay. So again, That's just a little bit on CDs. Definitely go do your homework. Find out what that's all about if that's what you choose. Again, this is based upon, of course, being connected to a traditional bank. You also have interest paying bonds. You know, bonds are basically like IOUs uh, from businesses to investors. So you invest a, a fixed amount into a bond and then the company agrees to pay you a certain percentage back. Okay, a certain percentage. Now there's more to it. But again, do your homework uh, to learn about the different types that are out there and whether that's something you want to look into because there are company bonds, there are small uh, ultra risky companies, you know, they call them junk bonds, okay? And then there are many others as well, other types out there. So in addition to bonds, you have dividend paying stocks, okay? So for example, when you purchase stocks, many of those companies pay out a a portion of earnings to shareholders on a regular basis. Now these, that, that payout that they pay out and give out is called dividends. Okay. Give it dividends. So typically dividend paying stocks are really larger, for example, and more and given by more established companies. Okay. More established companies. But again, do your homework to find out about those stocks. You have other options like peer to peer lending and, single family rental houses. And again, you need to find out whether this is the best season to consider and look into real estate or not. Okay. Again, check and see whether this is the best season to be involved with uh, the housing market. Remember a lot of people get into housing because they want to get in. They want to get properties that are run down. They want to build them up, flip them, and then expect to receive a profit from it. Uh, But you want to look into this a bit more to find out if this is something you want to do in this season. Okay, whether this is the right climate for it 
But more specifically, there are also multifamily rental properties that people look into, like duplexes and triplexes and quads. Uh, these are options as well. And then you also have like those that are like apartment buildings that some people look into. Apartment buildings. These are, again, options that are income producing assets potentially. And then you have those vacation homes. I know many of you know about those vacation rentals or even getting into this Airbnb uh, industry with the Airbnbs, of course, getting property, allowing people to rent it out for a certain period of time and you taking care of the fixing up and the, you know, the basic things associated with the homes. All right. But there are many other options, farmland, uh, you know, different other options out there, including even some businesses that you may want to consider. Like, I know there's some standard ones out there like car washes and laundromats and, and, and coffee shops and, and many other different things. And even franchises. Some people even consider going into looking into, uh, McDonald's and, and, and Chick-fil-A's and, and, and different other type of franchises. But here's the deal. Of course, we know a lot of these do require, uh, you to get loans, right? to be able to borrow money and have the result, of course, and really rely upon credit unless, of course, you have some type of inheritance or some large portion of cash from somewhere that will enable you to obtain a franchise, a part of a branded company, all right? So yeah, these are options out there, but here's the thing. You need to find out what is best to consider plugging into now that will not only generate you income, but also protect what you're generating. Now, the reason why you want to consider this big word protection, because of the status of the dollar, you all need to do your homework and receive education about what is going on with the dollar. Uh, Because as of today, right now, the dollar has lost about 98% of its original value, which means that the dollar has a a intrinsic value right now of approximately five cents. Okay. Five cents, right? So even the money that you're generating and receiving the income generated from these other options here, if you're not protecting it, you can potentially lose it. Okay. Lose it if you're not protecting it. All right. So you need to find a vehicle to protect your dollars, but also a vehicle that's going to have you know, it's value growing for you or at least making money for you. And one of those options, as far as wealth building is concerned, is a savings option, a savings option. And I don't know if you all are familiar with this powerful book called The Richest Man in Babylon, Uh, but this book speaks of the importance of saving in a vehicle and it speaks of this vehicle and it names the vehicle gold, G-O-L-D, gold. Gold is a savings vehicle, and it is a vehicle that many of the wealthiest individuals in the world utilize to protect assets, period, to protect dollars. It's almost like it's almost like financial insurance. Okay. Gold is like financial insurance, and it is something that everyone needs to consider uh, saving in today, especially because of the status of the dollar. You see, the dollar is just an example of a fiat currency. And with all fiat currencies around the world really dependent and really linked and connected to the U.S. dollar, but the U.S. dollar has nothing supporting it or backing it itself. So when you have nothing supporting the dollar, but then the other currencies of the world being backed or supported by the dollar itself, the whole ship is liable to sink. Now, when I say ship, I'm talking about the whole dollar system, period, is liable to sink if you do not protect yourself. And so I want to educate you a little bit about why you might want to consider saving in a vehicle like gold, okay? You see, unlike paper currency, gold has maintained its value throughout the ages. You see, people see gold as a way to pass on and preserve their wealth from one generation to the next, okay? One generation to the next. You see, gold doesn't corrode. It really can be melted over a common flame, okay? It can be melted. You see, gold has a unique and beautiful color, you know, unlike the other elements out there. 
And so here are some things that you need to consider when it comes to thinking about and then considering gold as an option for saving it. You see, although the U.S. dollar is, is one of the world's most important, right, of currencies, understand when the value of the dollar falls against other currencies as it's done time in and time out, what happens is it raises the value of gold. And that's what's been happening over the course, even of the last couple of decades. And even now we see it increasing even more because of rumors of war. Okay. With things going on between the USA and Iran and other places, right? With all this stuff going on, it is raising the value of gold. So the decline of course, the paper then value, the, the value of the dollar is declining. So whenever we see a, de, a decline in the value of the dollar, it raises the value of gold, okay? The, it raises the value of gold. So with the weakening of the U.S. dollar, this is important and the reason why you specifically need to be saving in gold. Here's another reason. Gold is seen to be an inflation hedge, okay? It's been seen as an excellent hedge against inflation. Now, inflation simply is the rising of the prices of the goods and services that we normally consume every day against the declining value of the dollar. So with the value of the dollar decreasing, but the value or at least the cost of products and services we use every day increasing, this is inflation, which means most people are struggling to keep their heads above the water because you're not getting a raise necessarily on your jobs, but yet the prices of goods and services are increase is increasing. Okay. And the cost of living just in general. So it's important to understand and note that gold tends to be priced in those currency units, right? Basic currency units and tends to arise along with everything else. So gold is seen as a good store of value. So, so you're encouraged to really exchange some of your paper dollars for gold, okay, to protect the value of that dollar, all right? So in, also in times of geopolitical uncertainty, and I would say right now, there's a lot of uncertainty going on, especially with politics. So because there's a lot up in the air right now, you have these rumors of war, you see, gold retains its value in times of the in times such as this. Okay, so it's often called crisis commodity. If you want to write that down, crisis commodity, because people flee to this particular vehicle of gold for safety when world tensions arise. Okay, and it oftentimes outperforms other investments. And that's what it's doing right now. It is outperforming many investments out there. Every All those options that I was mentioning to you, bonds and stocks, it's outperforming all of those. All right? So again, this is the reason why you want to definitely save some of those paper dollars in gold. Now, here's the last one I'm going to mention tonight. Here's the last one. Whenever there is an increasing demand for it, when you see a lot of countries out there hoarding tons of gold, which many countries are doing right now, go ahead and Google. Look it up on Google, countries hoarding gold. You're going to see it. It's in recent news that many countries, China being an example, right, hoarding gold. So when there's an increasing demand by countries, this is something that you need to be doing for yourself in your own household. You need to be doing what these, what the bigger countries and bigger, and even the wealthy are doing. They are consuming and stacking and saving in gold. And you need to be doing the same exact thing. If you're not saving in gold and you're leaving your dollars out there in a traditional bank, you see the experts out there, what they're typically saying right now is that those who are not saving in gold and just holding on the dollars, you're going to eventually become poorer because of the way that things are heading right now. But if you start saving in gold, you're going to become wealthier. You see, there is pretty much an end coming to the middle class. I don't even see it. You just got the working poor 
And then you have the wealthy who are becoming wealthier. So you need to make a decision. Are you going to continue to work until you die? Like Warren Buffett says in his quote, you know, if you don't figure out how to make money while you sleep, you're going to work until you die. Or are you going to be a part of the wealthy who are becoming wealthier because they're, they're engaging in the habit of saving in gold. So here is where, you know, you, you have a solution that's readily available for you. Many people who are listening into this stream tonight and to this podcast may be connected to this solution already. I know my husband and I, we've been plugged into a solution that's helped us to be able to acquire gold. And that is a money system provided by an e-commerce company. You see, this company is not network marketing. This company is not an MLM. It's a money system, an e-commerce company that provides access to a money system. And the money system, it allows us to become educated about money and to be able to acquire gold in small transaction-friendly amounts. So you're able to acquire gold for as little as $5 with this e-commerce company. You can start, you, you can start acquiring gold for yourself and your family for as little as $5. And you're not buying anything. We tell people right now, you can't buy gold because gold is money. So you can't buy money. You're simply exchanging a liability, a Federal Reserve note, go ahead and look at the dollar, the Federal Reserve note, a liability that takes away from your pocket, right? Takes away from your net worth. You're exchanging it for a tier one asset, which is gold. You're just exchanging. That is what you're doing. And that's what the money system helps us to be able to do. And as you protect those dollars, guess what's happening? According to Robert Kiyosaki, he says gold are like the tears of God. Gold is an attractor of wealth. So if you want to attract wealth in your life in 2020, you need to start acquiring gold tonight. And if you don't have gold, how are you attracting wealth? If you don't have gold near your person right now, how are you attracting wealth? Yes, I encourage you, say your affirmations, keep affirming, keep believing but it's, you need to couple and you need to add action to that. You need to take action. The action is acquiring assets, engaging in wealth building. Wealth building means saving in an asset that's going to generate income. Okay. And there's no better asset out there today. And the economist has proved it. There's no better asset than gold. And gold is an asset. Gold is money. So here's what you can do. Get in contact with me or the person that shared this stream with you tonight. If someone shared this with you, ask them if they know how to acquire gold. Okay. If you're listening into this on my timeline or in the group, you want to make sure you inbox me and say, Hey, Lakeisha, I would love to learn about how I can get access to gold. You want gold today. And the best thing of all, here's what I'm going to tell you. The, 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 the wealth building account, the gold savings account is actually free. You don't have to pay anything to get an account. So it's a no brainer. You don't break out a credit card. You don't, we don't ask you for your social security number. None of that. You can open a gold savings account. This is asset based assets that's going to add to your net worth. Traditional banking, you're not making, you're, you're not making anything. As a matter, matter of fact, you're losing more than you're making when you leave your dollars in the bank, a traditional bank, because the banks are making money off of you leaving your money in that account. So again, the, this is really what I wanted to share with you tonight. A little bit of information, actually a lot of information <laughs> about wealth building And so we'll talk more about this in time to come and in future episodes. But for right now, definitely take a moment and digest the information that that has been shared with you on tonight. So get back with the person that shared this stream with you and ask them how you can get your gold savings account tonight. So thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. Appreciate you. We'll be back tomorrow night 
for another episode here with the Leadership TKO Night Show. So until then, I want to encourage each and every one of you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. Good night, everyone, and God bless.